This is my Ultimaker 3 Extended. Fantastic machine, I love it. When I bought it used, when it got shipped to me, it was damaged in transport. And I didn't realize that it had been damaged until much later. So it needs to be disassembled and we need to figure out which panels are messed up and then put back together. My name is Eric Stribel. I'm an industrial designer. Welcome to my channel about product design and making. Alfred backpack hanger in stainless steel and aluminum designed by me holds your backpack, lets you charge your phone, holds your keys, super versatile. So I'm packing up some here that were recently sold. Thanks for those of you who've purchased recently. It really helps support the channel. If I knew how bad the machine was messed up when I got it, I would have instantly just send it back to the seller and let him deal with it. But the it's too long of time has passed until I really figured out what's going on. So it's going to be up to me to fix this machine. It's got to be completely disassembled. Then we need to check all the panels and straighten them or remake them. I'm not really sure exactly how it's going to get fixed, but it has to come apart to get fixed so that I can print correct and accurate for my needs. So check this out. You can actually print these alignment tools and this will allow you to set the alignment on your Ultimaker. And I knew my machine was messed up, but I never really knew how bad it was messed up. So we'll put this back one on here and this one. So it's not even close, not even remotely close. Snap that one in right there and it's off this way as well. Also a pretty significant amount. So basically what that means is these panels, probably this one and the one on top are whacked. Right, these are acrylic or polycarbonate right here. This one and this one and the back, I don't know what the back one is. So the entire machine needs to be disassembled and taken apart and all the panels need to be checked for squareness because the unit's not square, not even close. So I have narrowed down these two panels, of course, are the weakest, and they are the ones that are deformed, thankfully. 
they're also the easiest ones to get so you can see this here check this out there's probably a good millimeter and a half over here on the long side maybe even two millimeters so it's pretty significant there on this side this of course rocks on the inside pretty significant now I'm not sure if you can see this but here the inside is not so square but there is a gap here and so the inside of this thing is out of square somehow and I need to see if I can fix that the outside the outside is halfway decent there's a little bit a little bit out of square on the inside here or the outside I should say not too bad but the inside so something's not quite right here we'll have to I have to work that out. All right, so far, those have been straightened out and I think they're good to go. They should be square. This stuff that I haven't disassembled seems to be square. The best I can kind of measure it with the tools that I have. So it's time to reassemble this monster and see if it's better than it was before. My hoodie, you like my hoodie? This is my overkill hoodie, it's pretty cool. You can get them at Puck Hockey. They're local to me here in Berkeley, Michigan. They don't have an affiliate program or anything like that yet. So if you buy something from them, let Matt know that you saw this video. They have tons of awesome old school metal bands, including Motorhead and Overkill, all kinds of merch from those bands officially licensed. Let Matt know that you saw this video if you buy something. Oh, and stick around to the end of this video there's going to be some bonus footage at the end of me playing hockey. put the unit back together. It went together really nice and smooth. Things look to be square from what I can tell so far. The only thing that's left is to calibrate the axles here on the top of the machine. So I'm gonna do that and hopefully that's gonna be all that's needed and we're gonna be back up and running. So this was the original, right? Where we could just turn it a little bit. But now this is the new print. And I've actually marked, these are actually the seam lines. Or that's the seam line actually of the, of the part print. But it rotates much, much better. Now we get a little bit here at the seam line where the two seams interact with each other and that's that's normal, I think. 
but I can certainly turn this thing around where I could not do that on the other one. All right, I think it turned out pretty good. It was a lot of work taking everything apart, but I think it turned out really good. It was worth it. It's certainly a lot better than it was before. And so I think I can use this to do the prints that I need to do. And I know that stuff is gonna be pretty round, at least way better than it was before. So here's where I could use your help. These machines aren't really supported by Ultimaker anymore. So if you know where I can get, let's say a front panel and a top panel, or you have a donor machine, a carcass laying around, uh, feel free to leave a comment below. I would love to maybe upgrade this thing to factory, at least the best that I possibly can to get the best quality prints possible. If there are other upgrades or things that I didn't do right in this video, feel free to leave a comment below about that. I would love to see uh, how I can make the machine better or calibrate it even better than what I did. That would be super helpful and I really appreciate your assistance with that. Don't forget, if you're gonna buy some metal merchandise from Puck Hockey, make sure you leave a comment for Matt when you place that order that you saw this video. That'd be really awesome. Up next, as promised, get to watch a little video of me playing some hockey. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Make sure to hit the bell so you get notifications every time I have a new video. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below and on the channel page. Rock on. Don't forget to check out the t-shirts and hoodies in the merch shelf below. Click here to check out some of the other design and making videos that I have that you might enjoy.